Shalom, I'm Marie Polachowski, and this is the 60 and the 95, the latest Israel news for teen Israel advocates. In our first story, we'll look at Secretary of State John Kerry's testimony on the Hill yesterday. Secretary Kerry spoke to the House Foreign Affairs Committee, insisting that Congress not pass any new sanctions on Iran until the White House is done negotiating with Iran, and only if Iran fails to meet its, its requirements under the negotiations. Kerry insisted that the White House was taking the correct steps in its talks with Iran. Kerry said that if additional sanctions against Iran were passed at this time, it would undermine the President's efforts in his negotiations with Iran. Members of Congress shot back that it is only under the threat of sanctions that Iran ever acts, and if Iran doesn't see Congress and the President's willingness to pass new sanctions immediately, Iran will not move fast enough in, on dismantling its nuclear program, nor meeting the terms that the United States and other countries want Iran to agree to. Iran shot back, saying that if more sanctions are passed at this time, it will walk away from the negotiating table, ending any chance of an agreement with the world. Meanwhile, after hearing Secretary Kerry's pleas, Senator Tim Johnson, chairman of the Banking Committee, agreed to delay further sanctions until the White House okays them. Let's explain. Congress feels that Iran isn't trustworthy and shouldn't be taken at its word that it wants to come to a solution that would prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. They see, Congress, they see Iran's willingness to negotiate as a delaying tactic and a necessary step to ease sanctions that have crippled the Iranian economy to this point. They feel that if Iran doesn't know that immediately upon their cheating or failure to come to a permanent agreement within six months, that more sanctions and harsher sanctions will be passed, they won't agree to terms that the world wants them to. Therefore, Congress wants to pass sanctions now that will come into effect if Iran cheats or fails to come to a permanent agreement within six months. On the other hand, the President and Secretary Kerry feel that the sanctions until this point have been harsh enough to convince Iran to come to the table. Now, Iran and America and the world have entered a, de a delicate state of time where they are working together to solve a problem of where Iran gets to express its independence and do what it wants while the world can have the confidence to know that it won't develop a nuclear weapon. Passing sanctions at this time, the President and the Secretary of State would argue, would spoil the delicate relationship and end the possibility of coming to terms. One more thing Secretary Kerry said was that America feels that if the proper regulations, restrictions, and inspections were put into place, Iran can enrich its own uranium. Enriched uranium produces the fuel needed to run a nuclear reactor to produce nuclear energy, yet it also produces the fuel needed for a nuclear weapon. Until yesterday, the United Nations and the United States agreed that it is too dangerous to allow Iran to enrich its own uranium, and instead, it should be provided the fuel by other countries to fuel its nuclear plants, but not be allowed to enrich its own plants. This is a stunning allowance by the White House, who yesterday said that the Iran can have the right and might under a permanent agreement to enrich its own uranium. And although Secretary Kerry felt that there's nothing to worry about, the regulations and restrictions and inspections would prevent Iran from using enriched uranium to build a nuclear weapon, it's something that seems naive and unnecessarily risky. We'd ask the president to change course and reconsider giving Iran the means to develop a nuclear weapon. That's been today's 69 on the 95, the latest Israel news for teen Israel advocates. We hope you'll tune in next time. Have a great day, and let's look forward to peace in Israel. Shalom.